Hello viewers, welcome to my channel everyone. Star of the Gold Rush Parker Schneebel has staked a new claim on more territory in Alaska. With this new arrangement, Parker will be able to expand his gold mining company even further and establish himself as one of the most prosperous miners from the Discovery Reality series. The deals Parker has closed on and the implications for his future are shown below. Metallic Minerals has signed a new production royalty agreement on five and a half miles of alluvial gold claims at its Australia Creek property in the Klondike Gold District of Canada's Yukon Territory with Parker Schneebel's Little Flake Mining. This agreement means that Parker will have exclusive rights to extract gold from the Australia Creek property. In exchange, Metallic Minerals receive a percentage of the production as a royalty. Metallic Minerals is a company that has expertise in mineral exploration, while Parker has expertise in gold mining. This should help both companies maximize profitability. Parker Schnabel just received the Robert E. Leckie Award for Excellence in Environmental Stewardship from the Yukon government in recognition of his reclamation work in the Klondike, so this is also a fantastic deal for Metallic Minerals. Under the terms of the Australia Creek Property Agreement, Little Flake and Parker have to complete a $1 million minimum annual work commitment. They also have to pay Metallic Minerals an annual advance royalty, plus a variable royalty on all gold production. While this is something Parker never liked before, since this is virgin ground, he likely made the exception. There is no word on whether this new land will play into Gold Rush. There have been rumors that his most recent new claim would get its own spin-off series, but with a new one, there could be enough for Parker to get more on his own spin-off series on Discovery. However, there is also the thought that Parker Schneebel could be working his way out of Gold Rush for one ironic reason. The best episodes of the show are when the miners struggle and have to find a way to make something work when everything is going wrong. When it comes to Parker Schnabel and Tony Beats, the two are both extremely successful. Parker has everything down to a science, thus it is frequently boring to watch him make his assertions. He knows what works and what doesn't, and he is no longer playing it by the hips. He frequently has the solution when something goes wrong, saving you the trouble of trying to figure things out. Parker is currently Canada's top gold miner thanks to the new claim, but his success does not make for interesting reality television. Stay with us by subscribing the channel to get all the latest news of Alaskan bush people and press the bell button.